this is such an important video because the last thing you want to do is not have your camper properly prepped and ready for that very first camping trip and that we're all so very excited about. But these are the things you must do first to help you avoid unnecessary any... problems down the road. Oh, and I've also created a very special checklist for you so you don't miss an important step. So stay tuned for that. But first, if you're new here, I'm Randy. And every Thursday, I help you make big memories in small campers. And say it with me, because weekends are just too short. It's the last Thursday of the month, so you know what that means. It's A-M-A-T. And Miriam asked me this question. How soon can I de-winterize and start carrying water again? Great question, Miriam, because de-winterizing your camper is your first step to getting it ready and prepared for summer camping. Now, I do really enjoy winter camping, but I'm also very anxious to de-winterize my little guy, Max. This means that I can use the water system again and I don't have to use a portable potty anymore. But timing is so critical because you never wanna de-winterize your camper before temperatures are going to not stay above 32 degrees. Now, I've heard some people say, well, it's okay if the temperatures are gonna drop below freezing for a couple of days or maybe even at just a day or so. But the truth is water expands and freezes when it gets below 32 degrees. And when this happens, the water will expand and break our pipes. And you certainly don't even wanna risk this happening because this would be a costly mistake. But you also don't wanna to wait till the last minute because de-winterizing your camper is just the first step to getting it ready. There are more really important things that you need to take care of. You'll see what I mean in just a second. So to answer your question, Miriam, you can safely de-winterize your camper when the temperatures are gonna stay above freezing and the sooner, the better. So, when are you gonna be dewinterizing your camper? If you want an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to dewinterize your camper, I've got a video that you need to watch next. I'll leave a link to that video right up here and also in the video description below. Okay, I mentioned a very special checklist for you because here's the thing. Doing these next steps are really important and they'll help you avoid problems while you're out camping. And nobody wants to deal with unnecessary problems during our precious summer camping months. So make sure you do everything on this list and you can get your free copy right down here. This is where you can go grab your free copy and I'll also leave a link for you to get your free copy in the video description below. And one of the things you need to do, first and foremost, is make sure that your battery is 100% charged. Because if you have a lead acid battery, which is the battery that's typically found in campers, you don't ever want to let this battery level get below 50% or you can ruin your battery. You can use a trickle charger, or if you have access to electricity, plug it in and make sure your battery is fully charged to 100%. Also, if you do have a lead acid battery, this is a perfect time to top that water level off so that it's back up to 100% so you're ready to go. And also check your battery for corrosion because corrosion can prevent the current from flowing normally, and this could cause problems. Doing just a little bit of this RV battery maintenance when you're de-winterizing your camper could save you a lot of hassle and will help it last longer because good RV batteries aren't cheap when you have to replace it. The next thing you need to check is your tires. In cold weather, tires are gonna deflate. So after they've been stored for a while, you're gonna have to re-inflate them and make sure that they're properly inflated to the manufacturer's recommendation. Also, check the threads on the tire and make sure that the tire is safe to be driving down the road. This is a good time to buy new tires if you find that the tires are wearing because worn tires could cause a flat tire, a blowout, or worst case scenario, you could lose control of your camper while you're towing it down the road. The next thing I want to talk about isn't critical, but it is pretty important. And that's sanitizing your tanks. And most people, they don't even think about this. Sanitizing your RV tanks is two really important things. First, it does a deep clean because 
Who knows what buildup has taken place over the past year? And think about your fresh water tank. While you're probably not drinking this water, you're gonna use it to wash dishes and take a shower. So you want the water in your fresh water tank to be, well, fresh. And secondly, you want to avoid funky bad odors. Sanitizing your gray and your black tank will help break down and flush out those things that cause some of those bad odors. And these odors, they're never pleasant, but they can be especially bad in small places. I did a previous video that will show you step by step how easy it is to sanitize your tanks and the simple two ingredients that I use. I gotta tell you, I chuckled to myself a little bit when I rewatched this video. It's one of the earlier YouTube videos that I made and well, let's just say I've come a long way in making videos, but it is a very useful video. So I encourage you to go watch it or just go watch it to see what I mean. Anyways, I'll leave information for this video up here and also in the video description below. The next thing you want to check is your appliances and you'll just go around and turn them all on and doing this will ensure that they're functioning properly because the last thing you want to do is find out that you have an appliance problem on your first camping trip. Today, scheduling your camper for service or repair can take a long time, especially during the summer prime camping season. So be sure to check your appliances while you're dewinterizing your camper. Okay, this next one is really super important. You need to test and check all your safety devices. I'm talking about things like your smoke alarm, your carbon dioxide detector, your fire extinguisher, all those things that are there to keep you safe. So it's really important that they're functioning properly. And I'm also gonna suggest that you replace all the batteries in these safety devices at this time. Batteries are relatively cheap compared to the consequences of having Having a battery go dead in one of these devices. Another important thing on this checklist is to do a walk around of your RV and make sure that everything looks good. You're going to be looking at things like the weather stripping that's going to be around your windows and your doors and if any of the sealant is cracked or peeling, be sure to replace it. And be sure to check the roof for cracks and fix any that you do find to prevent leaks because water damage, well, that can turn into a nightmare. Inspect your hitch for rust or damage. Doing this could help you avoid an accident or could also help you from breaking down while you're towing your camper down the road. After you're done checking the outside of your camper, you need to check the inside. You want to look for anything that needs to be repaired or replaced and you want to do this now. You also want to make sure that you didn't have any mice that made your camper their home during these winter months. These little critters, they can cause a lot of damage. So be sure to check the inside of your RV as well as the outside. Some of the other things that are really important to do during this time that are on your checklist include things like washing your bedding and doing a thorough cleaning. Even if you did this after your last camping trip, being in storage, it just makes things musty and things get dirty. I want you to go make big memories in this upcoming summer camping season. So go download your checklist right now. And once again, the link will be here and I'll also leave it in the video description below. Well, that's it for this episode and I can't wait to see you next Thursday.